What is up, guys? It's uh, Arctic Boy here. You know, back with another video. Let me just them. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I've been away for more than two months. This quarantine stuff has got everyone really mixed up. Uh, you know, I've just been trying to enjoy life, get my grades up, trying to graduate. You know, sorry I've been off, but I think I can't do any of those old what ifs I used to do back then. Because I lost all memory of them, so I'm gonna start a new what if. This what if Zuko Midoriya was a werewolf, but this is gonna be like a village type werewolf. This would be like he grew up in a you know, I'll, I'll tell you. So let's get started. So we first start off with Zuko Midoriya being born into a village of wolves, but this baby was weird this baby came out human and the mother was Inko which was a wolf and the dad was a werewolf you can say that could transform into a wolf so the dad is nowhere to be seen because the dad ran away and uh So the dad ran away and Inko had a kid. So, you know, it was uh, Zuku Midoriya and Inko Midoriya. So, you know, they're very weird. Like, the tribe is weird. RP, now see, a tribe of wolves, as in, like, humanized. Not wolves that human, but wolves that could transform into human. So, like, shapeshifters, you could say it's a shapeshifter wolf. Whatever you, whatever you guys can call them in the comment section. I don't know. But, you guys tell me. So, like I was saying, Zuko Midoriya is born, and the oddly weird that it came out a human instead of a wolf. So, you know. So, Zuko Midoriya was more like an outcast, I guess. You know, in this village, he was born in a snowy place. But, he didn't look, you know, they didn't like the way he looked. And, you know, they shut him for it, so then Inko didn't want to leave her own child behind, so they decided to run off into the snowy wilderness and made it into Japan. Now, before saying how they made it in Japan, they lived in a... They somehow made it to Japan. They were across the ocean. They were in. F hmm. Ah, look up. Hold on, hold on, guys. All right, back. So, I repeat that. Uh, so the rest. So they. So they left the village in the middle of the night, and they're in a forest, and Japan. They're in a the forest in Japan. And, you know, they start to move into Tokyo. And, you know, they made it to Tokyo, but Inko had to shift to a human form. And, you know, f and find a way to get a job to help with the kid. But since quirks are a rise, she can say that her quirk is a wolf transformation quirk. And so, that could give him the cover. So, the time they get to Japan, it was, let's say, morning, and the cops caught her coming out of the forest and, and saying, Young lady, you're not allowed to use your quirk of authorizations, and you don't have a hair license. And Inko said, Oh, I'm sorry, officer. We just came out of the forest. I'm sorry. And I just came out of the forest after giving birth to my child. And the police looking into this, and they see that she's carrying her baby boy, Izuku, who is very healthy. And surprisingly, doesn't have clothes on because she ha they didn't have clothes back then. So, Inko is pretty much naked right now, but she's covered in bushes, so you can't see that. And... You just can't see that, uh... 
the nudity or the lewdness she has on her right now. And so they're asking, do we need to get you some clothes, ma'am? And she's like, I really appreciate it if we can. So, you know, they found some spare clothes and lost and found. You know, they put them on. And, you know, they went, you know, they found a place to stay that's cheap. Inko finally got a job. And this is where we're going to start it off. So, Izugumadoria is, let's say, one years old at the time. And, you know, he's in school or... Uh, what is it, like, one years old, kindergarten? Yeah, kindergarten or something like that. I don't know, kindergarten. We're gonna go by, like, we're gonna go by, like, really weird kindergarten stuff. So let's say, yeah, kindergarten, and then, you know, all the way up into, like, they're, like, you know what I mean? So they're still in kindergarten, no, preschool, actually preschool, so you know, they're still infants, they're still learning how to walk and talk and stuff like that, and so, uh, Zuko Midoriya being half werewolf, or half wolf breed in, so I don't know what the breed would be, but, you know, he has green hair, like his mother still, so you know, his fur is gonna be not green, to, to say his dad has black hair, and so he got he got he got green hair. But when he transforms, he has his whole body is black with green eyes, and all you see is like this right here, all this stuff coming off of him. This is this is in his DD form. I'm gonna say like he's actually a chosen prodigy of the Wolf Clan, so he's like a DD. So you know. He has DD powers and stuff like, or a DD. Sorry, I have a speech impediment. It sucks. DD and you know stuff like that. It's hard. This is going off my head. Sorry, guys. Uh, it kinder, in kindergarten, uh, preschool. My bad, preschool. And you know he met a kid named Bakugo, which is, you know, a kid that's very rowdy and loud, is a blonde, so, you know, he's gonna be, a uh, a snot runt, so, you know, and Zygmadoria over here being the nice, playful kid, you know, and Zygmadoria, well, start, at the age of, like, one years old, he started growing fangs out of his teeth, because that's when transformation starts, and, you know, everyone was making fun of him and saying, Oh, look, Big T Fizuku has some cane, Big T, if he looks stupid and dumb. And Izuku doesn't know how to talk yet. The other kids know how to talk because they're extremely smart, but Izuku doesn't know how to talk. As he rather to keep quiet and not talk and show shows to anybody because he has an instinct not to, you know, talk to anybody except for his mom. And... Any type of language he wants. He can... S I'm gonna say make a language for them. I'm gonna say it's like a wolf language. So it'd be like... Draconic. From d and d it will be like... Wolfic or something like that. I don't know. You guys say in the comment section what language it should be. And you know... Talking in... Their tongue. So... You know... And Zygmadoria said something in the wolf tongue. And he had no idea what he said. And he just shut up. Wrote and saying... I said... Screw off. Bakugo. As in, he wrote it down. Everyone's amazed that, you know, like, he could say a different language, but he said, this is the language of my tongue. He wrote it down. He doesn't know how to speak English. Actually, he doesn't know how to speak Japanese, but in this, it's English because, you know, English is English, and Japanese is Japanese. It's weird. Eh. So, you can the dub. So, and around like when they're four years old, this is when Azuka Midoriya start really showing signs of the werewolf. So, you know, he said it was his quirk, but Azuka Midoriya, no, he, his mom told him that uh, you are born as a baby, but you have wolf powers, or you are a technique, a per, you are a werewolf slash wolf. And you have many different transformations, but you start off human, so human's gonna be your main transformation. 
by the four, when Zuko Maduro became four years old, uh, he went to the doctors, and he doctor says, your son has a quirk, ma'am. I'm like, wow, oh, amazing, yeah. It, apparently it's earth manipulation, or something like that. So I didn't manipulate earth, so he can make stone pillars, you know, stuff like that. And Inko was weirded out by that. I'm like, wait, Earth? That's so weird. So I'm gonna say that his father was a, his father had the ability to control uh, Earth or ground stuff like Cementus. So, but this is actually natural being. So since he's wolf, he's more connected to Mother Nature, so he can actually make anything sprout and grow and stuff like that. And you know, we're so and that's weird. And by the time you know, when I reach five years old, uh, Azuma Dora started showing signs of fur growing around his whole body, and people were acting weird around it inside school. And so Baku asked, Is this your quirk? Uh, and Azuma Dora, learning to speak, said, No, this is my not. Uh, Azuma Dora stopped himself right there before he said, I can't tell him unless I'm gonna keep Baka going a secret. So he just says, he just says, uh, it hits me early. Well, I have hair, as I have a, a, a disease, not a disease, but I have a medical condition that makes me grow here at a young age. So if you don't like it, don't like it. And then Azuka Midoriya, uh, at the school, pulls Baka go inside and says, Baka go. This is not because of my disease. This is because I am part wolf and werewolf. I am literally a full-blooded wolf pack thing. I am pretty sure I'm sure showing signs of becoming a werewolf soon. And Baku didn't believe this until Bakugo and Tuzumuru took him to his mom, and you know Inko showed him, and then Bakugo started to believe more and started becoming friendly towards. Midoriya as like a dog, so you know, like as best friends, like best, like a best man is a dog, a, the best man's friend is a dog. Everyone knows that a dog is a man's best friend. If all you guys dog lovers out there know, you know what I'm talking about, even females. And so, by the time they were seven years old, Azuka Midoriya, you know. Stayed at the same height as in, like, let's say he is seven years old. A seven year old would be around like four. When I was seven years old, I was around like five foot. So I was a tall kid when I was seven. So I wasn't, you know, so I'll say Izuka Midori was around like four nine at, when he was seven years old. Bakugo was like, f let's say, five foot. So all the classmates were a lot taller than him. And everyone called Izuka Midori a short. Short, short, and so when it came for uh, third, when it came to let's say, let's say, uh, 10 years old, Zugumadori had a major growth spurt during the middle of the night, and he grew up to be uh, five eight, and everyone was, let's say, like five five or stuff like that. People thought Azuma Doria grew, and in reality, he did. He actually grew. He, he, you know, he grew taller. And I'm gonna stop at the age of 12 is when I go to middle school. So just get ready for this. And so when they finally reach to middle school, uh, Azuma Doria is six foot. He's not fully grown yet. He's six foot. He's literally the tallest. The, the tallest kid in the class. I sure to God. Sixth grade, six foot. People thought he was a high schooler, but reality, he was just genetically tall because of his wolf, werewolf form, and werewolves are usually really tall. They grow in size, so I might as well make Azuka Midoriya a lot taller. So when he goes to his werewolf form, which would be up when he's. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but when he's werewolf form, I'm gonna give you a height difference. He's gonna be around seven. Two to seven three. So, yeah, he's gonna be a tall boy. He's gonna be a tall, tall. 
and males don't usually stop until like 24. So, you know, I'm going to say this, that for Zugu Midoriya, since he is part werewolf, he, his full height s stops when he turns 15 years old. So, you know, uh, so I'm going to leave you guys on this. And uh, left breast start off is uh, 12 years old, uh, middle school, 12 years old. You know, need to first day of middle school. Bakugo was very surprised how tall Izuku Midoriya got. So, you know, and then I'm gonna end it here and wait for the next episode. I gotta think of a better storyline. This is just a, a off rent off my head. So, if you guys like it, I appreciate the like goal. It'd be like five or ten likes. I know I don't have a lot of people don't watch this. So, if I get five, ten likes, the next one will be up in like a week or so. I gotta figure out something in my head about the storyline. So yeah, uh, peace out, dudes.